The Olympians, brought to you by Petro-Canada, helping athletes since 1988. Okenewa Akufo is a strong woman, of that there is little doubt. However, there are many ways to define strength. Most people, when they saw me, I have pretty big biceps. <laughs> Some people look at me like, what do you do? <laughs> and I'm like wrestling, they're like, oh, I won't mess with you. You cannot have it if you can't handle it, <laughs> I always say. So you had to be a strong woman on the inside to be able to live with the outside appearance that you have. There is a side to a kufo that most never see, unless, of course, you visit her website. It's a marketing tool and a place to sell her posters and T-shirts. But mostly, she says, it sends a message. I always think of young women. I always think of just society and the role models and what's on television. And I look, I weigh 170. I'm a, like, I'm not small. I'm not an ideal women and on television and so you look at the sport wrestling people are like okay are you tough are you like you know stereotype are you a butch are you no you can have the best of both worlds the best of both worlds is actually a great way to describe a kufo's life hi, Gina, hi. two worlds and two cultures have made her doubly strong my parents are from ghana west africa and um that's a great influence on my life because that's where my parents, their values came from, and that's what they instilled in me. So when I was three years old, my dad packed us all up, took us to Ghana because he wanted us to learn the language and learn our culture, so we would know we're a part of us, because you're Canadian born, but there's still another part of you. This is our lower flooring, so you can feel it. It really feels natural. On top of it all, Akufo wrestles with a part-time work schedule. Most people realize that uh, Canadian athletes were not as funded as much as other athletes in other countries. And you could do two things about it. You can complain, you can cry about it, or you can do something about it. That's why I work. You work just so you can sustain the level that you're at. And if you want to be a force to be reckoned with in the world, you have to do what they're doing. But if you can't do it the way they're doing, you got to find another way. So for me, it's not even the sport, it's a value of life. And if you don't have that, I'm like, it's boring. <laughs> Why live life when it's boring? <laughs> <laughs>